You have to want it. You have to want to be better. And it starts off with you have to have pride in yourself. You you have to have pride in yourself. You have to have, there's something about you, whether it's your last name, whether it's just the smallest thing. You have to be proud of yourself. And if you have no pride in yourself, I can't give it to you. chest day today. So I'm going to show you guys do a complete chest day, show you guys how to get that foundation and really add size to your chest. So for the first movement, uh, I'm actually going to start a little different than most people will probably start. I'm going to start with dumbbells today. Dumbbell bench is actually my favorite exercise. Um, I know you guys see me bench. Right now I'm probably around 385, 405 bench, which is good. But honestly, dumbbells is what I love. That's when I get the extra reps. That's when I can keep going up in weight. Um, you know, I can fail safely. I can go up to 150, 160 and not know if I'm going to get my target rep range and be able to fail safely. So I'm probably going to start with about 8 to 12 reps for everything today um, until I get around 140s. And then once we get to 150s, probably start bringing the reps down a little bit. Uh, maybe around, hopefully, 6 to 7 reps. And then if I, if I get 7 to 8 reps with 150s and if we're really good, I'll go 160 today. But it, it, it's all about how you feel. I don't want to go too crazy and start ego lifting and everything, but you know, we're going to start light and work our way up to see what happens today. big on the elbow sleeves when I go heavy. I like to have everything stabilized and really just feel safe in my head. We're going to test them out today. Hopefully it helps me lift some heavy weight today and we, we, we're going to see what happens. get to 10 to 12 reps. So now we're going 130. Um, I'm putting everything on now. Like, I need full support, full stability, all the help I can need if I'm trying to go 150s today. So right now, I got these right here. I got the Iron Rebel uh, elbow sleeves. Honestly, I was never really big on, um, you know, accessories and everything like that. But when I got these, everything skyrocketed. My bench press skyrocketed, shoulder press skyrocketed. So people can say what they want, but I, I like to move heavy weight and actually feel comfortable, not injure myself, everything like that. So when I do dumbbells, everything's coming on. I'm not using my belt. I have used my belt in a minute, but wrist wraps and elbow sleeves are coming on.
wrist wrap, everything on. Completely different set. You feel more stable, you got the extra support, and you're more locked in. So now we got 140s. Eight sets here, and then depending on how that feels, my chest clearly my expectations were not reaching my expectations, but we're still working today. So, we're gonna do one set of eight, depending on how that moves, I might do another set of eight, or I might go a little bit heavier and hit six reps, and we're gonna move on to the next exercise. Start working the middle part of the chest. We defense the upper part of the chest for now. Um, probably do like four sets of 12. Keep it real light, slow contraction, and uh, really, you know, focus on tearing that muscle. Last 
set is always the best set, man. 15 reps on the last set. Really get that squeeze, put some extra reps, and really get that crazy pump. should no longer be able to lift any more weight. And that's a good set in my book. All right, so now we have our last exercise of the day. Um, we're doing machine push downs. It's kind of similar to the dips, but I like machines a lot because you can kind of keep the tension the entire time. So I really like machines as well because you can kind of take the stability, balance factor, everything out, and really just focus on the muscle contraction. So I like to hit about 12 to 15 reps uh, for about like four to five sets, and really just finish with that burner.
finished with the workout, my chest is like done. Like as, as soon as I finish the workout, I'll probably get like Chipotle, uh, then go home, make some grilled chicken and rice, and then have like three protein shakes after this. Like my chest is done. I feel like chest is shredded, everything's torn. Everything I was targeting today, upper, lower, mid, everything is completely done. Um, the workout didn't go as planned as far as in the beginning, as far as like the 150, 160 dumbbells. Um, that was me more, more kind of like manifesting it to existence. But um, overall, it was a crazy workout. As you guys can see, the pump is going crazy. Uh, I, don't, I don't really compete or anything like that, but I would say this looks pretty crazy. You see the bands coming out, everything. Complete chest. You see the top, bottom, middle, everything is pumped right now. So, for the most part, I think that's a pretty solid, complete chest workout. So, next time you guys are going to the gym, make sure you try this routine. I'll put the full routine in the comments below. Um, I hope I taught you guys a little bit as far as why I use accessories, you know, as far as form, um, good tips as far as tempo, getting a stretch on the flies. Whatever it is, hopefully you took something from this video and you can implement it into your own workout. Um, and hopefully, you know, this routine gives you a crazy pump just as it gave me. Until next video, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think of the routine. Let me know if you try it. Let me know what routines you want to see. If you guys want to see, you know, any particular content, whether it's abs, shoulders, anything like that, just let me know in the comments below. Make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe. And until next video, I'll catch you.